All right, guys, I'm back on YouTube Grind. I was gone for quite some time, just traveling with a bunch of super sick guys in the space. Went to uh, Columbia, Bali, and also Miami at the end. But I'm gonna get right into it. So essentially in this video, I'm going to be dropping a full cold DM guide and actually also Alex Mosey's exact outreach scripts that he was using when he was running his own agency according to his resources. And in the full cold DM guide, I'm pretty much gonna be talking about how to actually maximize the leads experience. Because one thing you guys have to keep in mind is the sale starts not on the sales call, but when you actually send that initial first outreach message. But essentially how much effort and how professional and organized that entire sales process is, subconsciously they're gonna think, will that extrapolate into the actual service delivery? So if you have a very organized, very high effort sales process, then they're gonna be way more likely to close from the first message you send all the way to them booking the call, what happens after you book in the call. Also one more thing, we're doing a surprise announcement during this video, so just keep your heads up and stay tuned and I'll get right into it. As you guys know, this is Alex Hermosi's value equation. Now, this is probably gonna be the most actual important concept or idea that you have to understand in online business. So as you guys know, we have dream outcome times perceived likelihood of achievement divided by time delay times effort and sacrifice. But essentially what I did is I got all of this information and I actually extrapolated that into a cold DM message. So based off of this resource, this is exactly what Alex and Mosey would be using in his initial outreach message. So essentially this is for real estate. Now, now me personally, I've used a script to sign dozens and dozens of clients and it has served me very, very well. Obviously I have their name, location, and also job. And not only does it do that thing, but also does establish social proof. So this is actually also going to increase the perceived likelihood of achievement just because you say we work with residential realtors in Texas. So humans are obviously very, very cognitively biased towards having their dream outcome with the least amount of risk as possible, right? Because if you look at the lottery, let's say you get in the dream outcome like $100 million with only $5 to risk. That's why people buy. And this actually gets me to my next point when when you say all of these indicators, so you're getting their dream outcome with no effort, no sacrifice, no time delay, and also very, very high perceived likelihood of achievement, a bunch of indicators are going to go off their mind. They're going to be very, very receptive towards your message and you're going to get a reply very, very fast. Now, what you also can do is just say, give me a thumbs up if you're interested or respond yes if you're interested. Now, when you do this, you're actually not even giving them time to think because you want to give them their dream outcome with the least amount of resistance path possible. And obviously that path is just saying yes or thumbs up because it's very, very little effort to get their potential dream outcome, which is a call for you and then eventually achieving the outcome with your services. Now, another thing you guys have to keep in mind is this is actually the least effective method of actually outreaching on cold DMs. So obviously we have the text first option, then we have a personalized voice message and then a video. Now, obviously the video will be the highest form because it seems like you're putting in lots and lots of effort to actually get a potential call with them. So then they're actually gonna think that, okay, this guy's putting a lot of effort. He must be putting a lot of effort in the service delivery as well. All right, guys, I'm gonna do this special announcement right here before I get into the next point. So essentially, I'm gonna be opening up a private one-on-one -on -one mentorship with me. So if you guys do want to apply, just DM me on Instagram, as I just took one of my students from $0 a month all the way up to 10K a month, all within 45 days. So if you wanna hit 10K a month or even 50K a month, it's just as soon as possible, just DM me on Instagram and we can get this sorted. If you are just starting out or you are already established, this will work for both groups as I will be extrapolating my systems that I've used to help me scale from zero to 30K a month in five months and beyond into your business and also other systems that I've just learned over the past few months and just help you sign as many clients as possible in the least amount of time. But that's pretty much it and let's get back into the video. So I'm gonna talk about the whole sales process, right? Because like I said, the sale doesn't start on the sales call, it starts on the initial outreach message. So how flowy and how much effort you actually put in is gonna really, really influence your close rate before you even get on the sales call. And the first thing you guys have to understand is the reason why people buy from you is because of trust. So in order to maximize this trust, you actually have to establish multiple touch points before the actual sales call. And obviously one of the main things you could do to actually increase this is installing a backend VSL into your business. So essentially right after the book in the call, let's say you cold call them, you're actually gonna be automatically sending them a backend VSL. So this could be on your website. And what you could actually have in this backend VSL is actual a triage of VSLs. So you could have multiple backend VSLs and this will actually really, really help your close rate just because you're actually establishing authority, credibility, and also trust just in space. So your first VSL could just be a thank you, you booked in kind of just explaining what the call is gonna be about, how to prepare for it, and also just next steps. Now, in the second backend VSL, you could actually have kind of what your offer is, who this is for, who this is not for, how this will benefit them, background of the company, why you're different, the outcomes, and most importantly, case studies. Now, case studies are single-handedly the most important thing that you actually need in order to close clients. And this will really, really skyrocket the trust just because the perceived likelihood of achievement is gonna be way higher, as I mentioned previously in the video. Now, another thing you got to do to increase this close rate is to, so for example, let's say you DM them and they book in the call with you. What I would highly recommend is just calling them up right away and actually having a intro call. So essentially there's the classic demo call, which is just the one call close, the sales call. And then you also have the intro call. So you actually can't establish this in your business. So you're just gonna be asking a few questions 
questions just about their business, kind of what their goals are, why they're not there already, stuff like that. It's kind of the question phase in the actual sales call. But once you establish this intro call, it's actually going to really increase your close rate just because you have that additional touch point. And also you've already established a bit of relationship and trust in the actual process. So when you actually get on the sales call and you also have the back end VSL, they're pretty much going to be ready to hand you over their money and actually have you as a client. Now, there obviously are tons of more things that you could do that I actually personally use, but I won't be mentioning in this video. I'll be mentioning that in future videos. So if you guys want to screenshot this or use this in your own business, go ahead. I won't be saying this exactly because it's kind of uh, repetitive. And obviously follow-ups are a very, very important part of the process in actually getting the meeting booked. So probably the most effective part is just to cold call them. So if you've already sent them a message and they've seen it, just cold call them and say, hey, John, I know you actually saw my message I sent to you just a few hours ago. Just wanted to see if you had any questions or would like to just have a quick chat over the phone. Something along the lines of that, just to establish the relationship and just start the actual sales process. Now, another thing you actually can use that I have seen this in the past, and it's, uh, it's worked very well on me, is to say, hey, John, is everything okay? Should I call an ambulance? Now, obviously, you guys shouldn't be using this on you know, big corporations or stuff like that. I would highly recommend using this on you know, gyms, realtors, med spas, people who could actually take a joke and not super, super high up corporations. Now, another thing you could do is actually send them memes like this. Obviously, old heads are pretty receptive for this, so I would, uh, I would highly recommend that as well. So I'm actually going to get to one of the last points. So what happens when they actually respond? So this is going to be the most important part. I would highly recommend just cold calling them again. I'm obviously very, very receptive towards this because I'm the cold calling coach for Charlie Morgan's Easy Grow program. Doing about a million a month right now. Very, very happy for Charlie. But it's going to be hands on the most effective form because the prospect will see that you're actually putting in lots and lots of effort to reach out to them and establish the relationship. And I know some of you guys, when you think of cold calling, you're going to have a lot of pain avoidance coming up in your mind saying, oh, I don't need to do that. Or, oh, cold calling is not effective. Or, oh, I just want to text him because I'm scared of cold calling. You guys just have to face the pain and just go for it. I know it's probably going to be painful at the start, but you just have to go for it and it'll be fine after a few hundred dials. Obviously, I want to mention a few more things. So profile optimization is going to be very, very important because people will always be clicking on your profile when you actually send them a message. So just make sure you have some case studies or client testimonials, client results, and obviously like website with a VSL as this will establish credibility, authority, and a higher perceived likelihood of achievement in the actual prospect's mind. And like I said, if you guys do want to apply to work with me one-on-one -on -one with a private limited one-on-one -on -one mentorship, and start getting results just like my clients who hit zero to 10K month in 45 days. Just DM me on Instagram and we can level chat. I'll see if you are qualified and we could get started. I hope you guys all the best in your journey. Obviously DM me on Instagram if you guys have any questions. But from now on, I will be posting at least once a week and just continuing to give out free value for you guys. Other than that, I hope you guys have a wonderful week and make sure to like and subscribe. I'm trying to grow to about 10K subs, maybe even 20K, 30K subs by the end of the year. So if you guys want to join me on that journey, that'd be amazing. And I'll remember you guys when I was, uh, you know, just starting out. So yeah, I hope you guys the best and I'll see you very soon.